Who's ready for pie? Hang on for the loop. I'm Franklin Fitzgerald the 28th. I'm Molly Sue Bakersmith. And this is The Hoop Show. <laughs> Have you ever lied, Ricky? Yes, just now, right now, and kind of all the time, I'm sorry. Today we're talking about integrity. Yes, what is integrity? It's being trustworthy, dependable, and honest. Sticking to your values even when it's difficult. Exactly. Let's keep talking more about honesty. Honest. Honesty. Lee. Honest. I think we should. Honesty. Hi, I'm the quiz man. These are my important clothes. It was brought to our attention that in a previous episode several months ago, I said that the answer would never be C. Well, I wanna be honest with you because I think integrity matters. Sometimes the answer is going to be C. I've only got like four letters, A, B, C, and D, so sometimes I'm gonna have to use the C. Who knows, sometimes it might be K or W, I don't know. But anyway, honesty is important. I want you to trust me, because I trust you. I think we're building something pretty great here. I'm the quiz man, goodbye. Hey Loop, when I was younger, people used to talk to me all the time about integrity, whether it was my, my parents or my coaches or my teachers. They used this word, and they would drop it on me all the time, have integrity. And I never fully understood what that meant at that age. And maybe, maybe you're in that same spot. People are talking to you about integrity and doing the right thing. And you're like, man, I just, I just don't know what that fully means. Integrity is doing the right thing, even when it's not easy. Because let's get real, the wrong thing is done all the time by so many people because it's easier to do. As a matter of fact, there's a book in the Bible called Proverbs. And in Proverbs 10, 9, it says that people with integrity walk safely. But those who walk crooked paths will be exposed. And what that means is choosing the crooked path, choosing the easier one, you will get caught. Not just caught like as in you get in trouble. You'll find out that it wasn't the right choice. And without integrity, you don't understand that when you're, when you're faced at that, that obstacle. Maybe, maybe some of you right now, you're in that position where you're sitting at this crossroad and you're thinking, do I go this way and do the right thing or do I go this way and do the wrong thing and integrity is that voice that's screaming inside of you do the right thing even though it's more difficult do the right thing maybe some of you need to hear this today because you've known deep down that there are things in your life that you're doing that are the easy path that lead to destruction that lead to the life that you, you don't want to live but know this Luke as you've learned so much already, that with God with you, as, as God is with you, he gives you the power to make the choice that needs to be made. It won't always be easy. I will not lie to you and say that it will, but it will always be worth it. Making the right choice is always worth it. So you have to ask yourself the questions. Can you be trusted? Are you someone that people can count on to make the right decision even when it's not easy? Actually, what you're going to do is you're going to learn about that in a story in the Bible about a guy named Joseph who was faced with the same decision. Check it out. Remember Joseph, the guy from Genesis with the big colorful coat? When the Bible talks about Joseph, it uses one phrase a lot. It says that God was with Joseph. No matter what happened, people could tell God was always there with him. Take this story for example. If you remember, Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery. He was sold to an Egyptian named Potiphar. Potiphar liked Joseph and saw that he had sick leadership skills. He quickly promoted him and trusted him completely. Oh, one other thing, Joseph was attractive. Not only did he belong on the cover of Trustworthy Magazine, he could also appear in Genesis Hunks. While Potiphar admired Joseph's integrity, Potiphar's wife loved his rugged good looks. She would flirt with Joseph. First it was just blowing him air kisses, but soon she invited him to join her in bed. Joseph refused. He told her, my master, your husband, has trusted me with everything in this house. Not only would it be a betrayal of his trust to go to bed with you, but it would also be a sin against God. See, God was with Joseph, helping him resist temptation. That didn't stop Potiphar's wife. She kept trying and he kept saying no. 
He made sure not to spend unnecessary time with her. He resisted her every time. One day, Joseph was working alone, and Potiphar's wife found him. He said no, but she pulled at his clothes. Joseph knew he had to get away from the situation as quick as possible. Her grip was tight, and his only chance to run was to slip out of his garment and leave it behind. This rejection was too much. When her husband came home, Potiphar's wife held up Joseph's clothes and made a false accusation. Joseph came in here and tried to commit adultery. Here's proof, he left his clothes behind. Potiphar had Joseph thrown in prison. While prison might sound like an ending to some, it was just another part of God's plan for Joseph to become a great leader in Egypt. Because again, God was always with Joseph. With every advance and accusation, Joseph resisted temptation by staying close to God. It was a fine display of epic integrity. Are you guys ready for a challenge? Let's do it! Pie detector challenge. Mm. Tell us something about yourself that may or may not be true. Lie and get caught, you get a pie in the face. Lie and don't get caught, they get a pie in the face. Tell the truth and get called a liar, they get a pie in the face. Tell the truth and they say it's true, no pies. Whoever has the most points gets to pie the other person with the nacho grandma's pie. Oh. <laughs> You're going down to Pie Town. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, okay. All right, you wanna go first? No, I want you to go first. Okay, I'm claustrophobic. I'm gonna say that is true. It's true! Oh. Yay! Oh, thank oh. goodness. Uh, I have never read Harry Potter. Uh, that's true. True. Woo! I hate the color pink. False. That is false. Yeah. I don't know, that's like just whipped cream. <laughs> it does taste mighty fine. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my hand skateboarding at my friend's birthday party. That is false. It's true. I mean, it's Wait, true. What? Sorry, it's true that it's false. Wait, so am I getting pie? Pie me. Oh, okay, I can't see you. <laughs> a smear and put it on your head. <laughs> I am the oldest of my siblings. False. Uh, that is false. Oh, I get pied. <laughs> Wait, that tastes really gross. <laughs> it looks real gross. I don't wanna lick my lips. <laughs> oh, it's up my nose. I wore, I have worn my underwear on the outside of my pants in public. That's true. It is. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. I have run a full marathon. True. It's false. <laughs> I've run two half marathons. Oh, oh two, okay. <laughs> okay, humble brag. I was pooped on by a bird while looking at the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Rome. False. It's true. All I do is win, win, win. The, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is not in Rome. Ha! Do I, do I pyre? Do it. Yeah, you can pyre for that. Ah! <laughs> what was that? I feel so silly for thinking it was in Rome. <laughs> okay, this I'm just gonna have to take because my goggles are not goggly anymore. <laughs> Jamie. Ugh. Uh, I just tried to smell it, but more stuff just went up my nose. <laughs> I once ate 22 slices of pizza. That's false. In one sitting. It's false. It is true. No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I win! <laughs> Do I win? You win. I win! Oh, man. Hello! Pass! Hey, I was watching that. If we're gonna talk about epic integrity, we gotta talk about privacy! You're right. I'm Kaylin, and this is the internet. Ooh, call me Rebels! At some point, you're going to be alone online. It's inevitable. <gasps> A solo mission! And no matter what you think or what someone tells you, nothing is really private online. It's up to you to protect yourself and have epic integrity when you're online alone behind closed doors. I put out a welcome mat, but you 
you guys leave all kinds of digital footprints in here. Here's some tips to help protect your privacy online. Tip number one. Keep your secrets. Oh, oh yeah. Don't give anyone your phone number or your address or your birthday online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love secrets, but I'm terrible at keeping them. <laughs> And it's not just data. You have thoughts and crushes and desires and dreams and pictures of yourself at the beach. Yeah, I, I've definitely got some of those. Think twice before you go online and overshare things that should be private. Oh, 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 but there are some things that I can't see. Which brings me to my next tip. Tip number two, set those privacy settings. You'll connect with close friends and family online and sometimes you'll connect with people you kinda know, and sometimes it'll be complete strangers. Think about the relationships you have online and make sure you block what needs to be blocked. Yeah! Help me help you! And my last tip, and you probably won't like this, Webbles. <gasps> uh -oh! Walk away. Sometimes something will make it around the boundaries that you've set an ad for a risky website, a thumbnail for a video that you shouldn't watch, or a request from a cute guy that is a total stranger. Yeah, I've got all kinds of stuff in here, but not all of it's good for you. This is a good time to remember that you're in control of the internet, not the other way around. Click close, uh -huh. ignore, uh -huh. delete, yeah. unplug. <laughs> wow, you went there. Well, no offense, Internet, but you're just a helpful tool. Real life is real life. <clears throat> well, okay. I hope that helps you all use honesty and common sense when you go solo. Leave a digital footprint that says, I have epic integrity. <clears throat> okay. Unpause. Pa and the winner. Pa, <sighs> pa and the winner. But I didn't mean to lie, so does that count? No. No, it doesn't. So you get nacho grandma's pie. No. Jamie, are you ready for this? Mm, I don't know. Listen, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pie you in three seconds. Mm, that makes three, me anxious. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is in Pisa. <laughs> I think there's sour cream. I can identify three things. Three fried beans. Sour cream, cheese, beans, guacamole. You usually have to pay extra for that. I'm not sure I can open my right eye. So remember everyone, lack of integrity and honesty can get messy. <laughs> Walk safely. <laughs> With epic integrity. And enjoy, enjoy the, the ride. ride. <laughs> Hit like, comment, and subscribe! Yeah! Don't. <laughs> don't, don't forget to do it! Now! Or we'll pie you! You don't want this. <laughs> My lap is so cold. <laughs>